Rashi Gibbs here with the Palm Beach Beat. We are here at the T. Leroy Jefferson Medical Society. We have the Mingle and Jingle event, and we're here to honor a very special lady, Dr. Lowe. Stay tuned. On December 17th, the T. Leroy Jefferson Medical Society held its annual holiday party in Bay Hill Estates. During the event, they honored Dr. Catherine Lowe with a Lifetime Achievement Award. In our community, she's made waves in the ophthalmology community, and it's just a wonderful thing that you've been involved with, T. Leroy, and we're very, very grateful, and we know that you will continue to be involved. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Lowe. Historically, the T. Leroy Jefferson Medical Society was created in honor of Palm Beach County's first African-American doctor, Thomas Leroy Jefferson. He was known as the Bicycle Doctor as he made his rounds to underserved patients throughout the county in the early 1900s. I have Ms. Dr. Lowe here. Um, she received a, a Lifetime Achievement Award, which I can pretty much say she's very deserving of that. Um, I'm going to have her tell her her story and tell us a little bit about herself. There you go, Ms. Lowe. Thank you very much. Good evening. Um, I'm Dr. Catherine Lowe. I guess I'm a native of Carpenter County, born and raised out in Belt Lake. Um, my dad's from uh, West Palm Beach and my mom's from Georgia. And I guess as a young girl, I was always very curious about life and I always had lots of questions. So my mother said, oh, she's too inquisitive, so let's just buy her books. So <laughs> they bought me encyclopedias. <laughs> I went to college in Gainesville at the University of Florida. I was a zoology major. Went to the University of Minnesota. Did uh, my internship at Howard in Washington, D.C. And then I went back to Minnesota and did a residency in ophthalmology. So I'm an eye care specialist, an eye surgeon, an ophthalmologist. And, uh, so I see all ages. I see kids, I see males and females. We give them glasses, contact lenses, take out their cataracts, things like that. And take care of their dry eyes, their infections. And I guess I've always been very, very interested in mentoring young people and telling young people how great they are, how smart they are, and how talented they are, and um, encourage them to do good things. Because I always say to young people, they, especially here at Palm Beach, they come from greatness. They are from, if you're from this area, you have come from greatness. Okay, and we expect great things from you. We don't expect anything less. So, study hard, learn hard, work hard, play hard, and do very good and make us proud. Hi, my name, my name is Alan Bach. We're from with uh, Admiral T. Home Healthcare. I've uh, been in the community about three to four years. Uh, I'm part of this lovely organization who believes in being uh, reaching out to the communities and uh, affecting all those the young people so that they can come up and, and be some a doctor, a lawyer, uh, a business person, or just be successful in general. And where are you? What is your position? What type of doctor are you? First, and what is like I'm actually not a doctor. Uh, <laughs> I'm the CEO, uh, president of Admiralty. Um, we uh, have a huge census of, and we take care of the elderly, uh, with nurses and physical therapy and occupational therapy and fusions and you name it, we do it. So uh, we're located in Wellington, Florida, but we cover all the way from Boca, all the way up north past Port St. Lucie. I have Dr. Brown Graham here with me. She's going to tell us a little bit about herself. Here you go. Yes, um, I'm Dr. Brown Graham. I'm the president of Admiralty Medical Center. Um, I'm the president of Admiralty Medical Center. 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 I'm the president of Admiralty Medical
I'm Vice Chief of Anesthesia at Palms West Hospital and on staff at several others uh, in surgery centers, uh, but happy to provide care here uh, in Palm Beach County, but even more so, it gives me great uh, pleasure to serve on a number of boards, but especially dear to my heart is T. Roy Jefferson Medical Society. We've been doing so many great things around the community, uh, elevating the profession of medicine and developing our members, but especially um, our youth, which is very important to me. Uh, so many of us have had the benefit standing on the shoulders of others to achieve great things through hard work, but we know that the doors are trying to rapidly close on those behind us, and that's why it's so important, and that's why we spend such a great amount of our time and energies on mentorship. I have Dr. Ramsey here, and he will tell us a little bit about himself and what he does. What do you do, Dr. Ramsey? Well, my name is Dr. Ramsey, um, owner of Iconic Eye Care, a boutique optical firm. Uh, I am here at the T. Leroy Jefferson, the T. Leroy Jefferson Medical Society uh, holiday party. Um, we try to get together once a year and celebrate family um, and togetherness. So we have uh, dozens of doctors and people that support the work that we do in the county from uh, career days, career symposiums, health fairs, um, and different doctor talks that we do throughout the year. We have scholarship programs. So this is kind of like a give back and a celebration of everybody that puts in the hard work throughout the year. So uh, T. Leroy Jefferson Medical Society is a great organization. I love to support it. I'm the current parliamentarian. Also, I am the co-chair of the membership committee. Um, so uh, we do a lot of good work in the community and it's just happy to see everybody's family with their kids and wives that we may not see throughout the year when we're doing all the events and putting in the work and the emails and the FaceTimes and conference calls. So today's kind of like a day to just say, hey, thank you for all you've done. Um, and then we kind of collaborate with everybody and kind of think going forward what we want to do in the future. So I have Dr. Oshiam here. He's the president of the T. Leroy Jefferson Medical Society. And he's going to tell us a little bit about himself, what he does, and where he's from. Here you go. Thank you for having me. Pleasure. My name is Dr. Oshiemi. I'm a infectious disease specialist in West Palm Beach, Florida. Uh, I'm originally from Nigeria. Uh, I've been in West Palm Beach for 16 years now. And I've been with T. Lord Jefferson since I moved to West Palm Beach. Uh, we do a lot of things in the community, uh, such as healthcare, we do education, uh, we, do, we give free backpacks to students who go back to school, uh, mentorship programs. Uh, so we've done quite a lot over the years, and we're trying to do more in the last couple of years. Uh, one of the things we like to do is uh, Donate, uh, raise two million dollars uh, to grow up a building where we can house a library, a museum, a computer lab, so kids can come in there and actually be, you know, uh, taught different things. They can uh, take computer classes. Uh, we can help them with homework. Uh, we can do uh, mentorship program within the building. So there's so much more we can do in that building. Uh, we also give scholarship, uh, scholarship award to, uh, scholarship, uh, I'm sorry, we give scholarship award to uh, high school students. Uh, we've done that over the years, and we plan to do more of that. Uh, we do collaborate uh, with several other programs. And uh, but Tilo Jefferson, you know, is really here to stay. To stay, uh, we have multi specialty uh, physicians within the group. We also have a non-physician members. So if you're a dentist, uh, a, a chiropractor, a nurse practitioner, uh, a, a, you know, anyone out there who wants to join, by all means join. But we do need your help. We need donation, donation from individuals, from corporations to achieve our goal.